Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So in the past few days, there has been another Nintendo Switch emulator announced that it is in development. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at this new emulator, which goes by the name of Ryu Jinx. So before I start getting you hyped up about a brand new Switch emulator, it must be stated that this emulator is still just as experimental as Yuzu emulator, the other Switch emulator that I have covered at length on the channel. Now, while Yuzu Emulator currently only boots homebrew games, Ryu Jinx has actually had some minor success we could call it when trying to boot some basic Switch games. In a currently unreleased version of Ryu Jinx Emulator, we have been shown this screenshot of Puyo Puyo Tetris actually booting to this screen, but it then crashes straight away before it gets to any title menu. There is also some unconfirmed news that ARMS boots but crashes before it gets to a title menu, but as I haven't seen any footage or any screenshot showing me it fully working in this emulator, I'm gonna have to take this news with a grain of salt and say that this game is not currently booting. Okay, let's jump across to my desktop and we are going to take a preliminary look at this new Nintendo Switch emulator and see exactly what it can do. Okay, so we are now on the Ryu Jinx website and we are going to take a quick look at it. So it's Ryu Jinx, a simple experimental Nintendo Switch emulator, information and content is subject to change. Scroll down for more info. So let's scroll down and what is Ryu Jinx? It is a Nintendo Switch emulator programmed in C Sharp. Unlike most emulators that are created in C++ or C, this emulator aims to offer good performance, a friendly interface and consistent builds. Ryu Jinx is created by user GDK Chan over at GBA Temp Forums. Okay, so then we have some licensing information and a download button which we will come to later. So as of right now, this emulator has no stable builds, although you may follow the build guide by clicking the build menu option above. Then we have, please visit the contributing tab for more information. Ryu Jinx currently does not work well with games. As of now, much like Yuzu, it only supports homebrew at the moment. I find it weird that they mention Yuzu on their actual page. Seems like a kind of a buzzword for uh, for Google to pick up on. So Ryu Jinx is currently only available for Windows, although support for Linux and Mac OS is there. It may be difficult to compile it. Okay, we've got the Discord, which you can join here. I'll also put a link for that in the description. And the name Ryu Jinx is based on the name for Ryu Jin, in other words, a name for the mythical sea god dragon. Uh, our developers are... okay, so we have a list of developers here, and that's not tremendously interesting, so let's just scroll back up and hit the download button and see where this takes us. Okay, so let's hit download and see what happens. So let's save this on my desktop, click save, and network error. Okay, so let's delete this and try again. Download. Once again, save. Okay, so that seems to be downloading. Uh, let's just wait for this to download and we'll see exactly what we get when we download this pre-compiled build. Okay, so we have it downloaded, so let's... Okay, that's the one that corrupted, so let's just delete that for now and let's actually unzip this to our desktop. So I'm gonna unzip, I'm just gonna extract it here just in case they haven't it zipped correctly. And let's move this aside for now. Okay, let's open it up and we have publish. So inside here we have everything and here is our exe. So what happens when we run it? Okay, so we get the Ryujing screen and okay, please specify the folder. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to drag and drop or switch uh, NSO stuff and NROs. So let's just put this in a separate window. Close off this and open up my Switch stuff. Okay, let's put this in a separate window again and let's see if we can run Space NX. So all I need to do is drag this over into the EXE and run it. And does it run? Does it run? It does run. It does actually run. That's awesome. Okay, so it runs, but we don't have any inputs yet. Um, I don't believe this emulator supports inputs just yet, so let's try to launch DS4 Windows and see if it's picking up an X input input. So launched, and is it picking anything up? No, it's not picking up direct input or X input, so let's just close the window and see how it runs any of my other NSOs. So let's try uh, this, drag it over. Okay, well it's running significantly faster than it did on Yuzu emulator, so even though it does appear to be quite buggy, so yeah, that also runs. Um, let's close this and see how it runs KG Doom. So drag it across, 
drag it across, raise you see it stopped working, so similarly to Yuzu, that also doesn't work, and hello NRO also crashes this emulator. Okay, so that's our first basic look at this new Nintendo Switch emulator called Ryujinx. If you want any more information, you can check out any of the links in the description of this video. They will take you to all of these pages that I visited, as well as having links to the Ryujinx Discord server if you want to ask any of its developers any questions. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.